In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a list of recipients for this year's holiday card distribution. We're going to be sending these out by email, so we're going to be wanting to pull the recipients from your attorney's Outlook contacts. So to demonstrate this, what I did is create a test contacts folder, and you can see I've got a whole bunch of contacts in here. I actually want to view these by category, which I can do by clicking the down arrow here if you have the advanced toolbar pulled up and choosing by category, or you can do the same thing by going up to view, arrange by, current view, by category. You'll see in this case that it's expanded my category to show all of the contacts that are listed in it. I'm just going to right click on categories. I'm going to choose collapse all groups. You'll see that I've got three here. The easiest way to select the contacts in this particular category is to use control C, like copy. What it does is automatically highlight all of the contacts that are listed in the holiday card category list here. <laughs> Next thing I'm going to do is go up to Tools, Mail Merge. It pops up this window here, the Mail Merge window, and it's going to ask us what we want to merge. In this case, it's contacts and only the selected ones. We want to, we want to merge it to a new document. And down at the bottom, we're going to choose Catalog, New Document and go ahead and hit OK. Now comes the mail merge part in Word. We want to merge in the fields from Outlook. So we're going to click on Insert Merge Fields, and then we're going to choose Address Fields from here. In this case, what I'm going to want to do is uh, merge the courtesy title, the first name, the last name, and then I also want to choose the email address because that's going to be pretty important. So we've got those guys inserted here. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and close this window. And the first thing I'm going to do is put a character return at the end of this line. So, because uh, if you don't, it's going to end up merging all of the records next to each other in one continuous line of text. So we want the, each record to be its own individual row. So we're going to hit an enter at the end there. Next thing we want to do is actually put commas in between each of these fields. So I'm going to click between the arrows there and put in a comma, comma, comma. This is going to create a comma separated values file that will be um, you'll be using this to send to the help desk or to Becky or to whoever needs it. Um, so now that we've got it set up the way we want, we'll go over to the toolbar here and we'll click Merge to New Document. It's going to prompt us for which records, and we want to choose all of them. And then it creates our new file. And you can see we've got courtesy, first, last, and email address. You're going to want to save this file, like I said, to send it to the help desk or to send it to Becky. So choose File, Local Save As, and then down under Save As Type, you should choose Text, Plain Text. I would go ahead and just save it to your desktop. And give it a name. We'll call this Dan's Contacts. Actually, Dan Burke. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit Save. Now I should have this guy on my desktop right here. Double click on it, and you'll see here that I've got this comma separated values file, and this is what we need to send out the holiday card distribution. If you have any questions, please let us know. Otherwise, uh, good luck. Thanks.